Hey, 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 what is up everybody? This is Mark and a lot of you have been asking me if you can make these new monogram lanterns out of one eighth material instead of one quarter. And the answer of course is sure. You'll just have to do a couple edits to the design to make it fit your material. And I want to do a tutorial to show you how easy that is. I'm going to use Illustrator in this uh, tutorial, but the principles are really pretty much exactly the same in just about any program. So you should be able to do it pretty easily. So the first thing you want to do is you want to measure your material with your calipers. Now, of course, if you have a laser, you've definitely got calipers, right? If you don't, jump on Amazon and order some. If you don't know which ones to order, I, uh, message me and I can make a suggestion or two. You don't have to spend more than 20 bucks on them. It, it's, it doesn't have to be that expensive. But in the meantime, if you do not have calipers, you can always use my free slot sizer. And I will put the link to that in the description of this video. It makes it very, very easy. So let's jump into this and I'll show you what you need to do. Let's say for sake of conversation that your material measures 0.12, 0.12. So keep that in mind. I'm going to show you what we need to do. So right here first, I will show you the base right here and the top right here have four slots on them each. And we need to change the size of those four slots on the top and the bottom to the 0.12. It's really easy. So you'll just click on this, uh, this square here and you'll notice that these three are not, don't seem to be clickable, but they really are. You don't have to ungroup. What you do is release compound path. Now, if you're using Illust I'm sorry, if you're using Inkscape, then it's called break apart. Okay. So I'm going to right click and you see right here, I'm going to click release compound path. And when I do that and then I click off and back on, now I can select this rectangle. So it's really easy. So now when I select that rectangle, I've got this option up here called transform. I'm going to click that so I can see that that rectangle is 3.05 inches long and 0.2014 tall. The height is what I want to change for, uh, for my material. So let me go back there again. I want to change this to my 0.12. Okay. So 0.12, I'm going to hit tab. Oh, excuse me. Too many uh, points. 0.12 and now you see that it changed to the 0.12 really easy so I'm just going to do this one too right and that's the width of course one two and I'll just go around this square real quick and we'll get all four of these so 0.12 and 0.12 here really easy and what you could do if you wanted to in fact I'm going to do it just to show you I'm going to go ahead and uh, hold shift down and click on these four. And then I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. And uh, I'm sorry, command C on a Mac. And then I'm going to select these four. And I'm going to, or actually, sorry, I'm going to paste. And I'm going to put these four right on top of these just to show you another way you could do this. This is, this is not the better or worse way. It's just, you know, a different way to do it. Put those right there, and then now I'll go around and I will uh, delete the bigger rectangle there. Whoops. Hey, see? One of the reasons you shouldn't do it that way. It's easy to click the wrong one. Uh, but that way we've got, you know what? I'm going to nudge this guy over just a tiny bit, get it lined up there. Okay. I'm going to delete that. Oh, I deleted the whole thing. Beautiful. I love when I'm recording and make mistakes. It's awesome. Oh, and I need to right click and release compound path. This one is, is in there. So there we go. So now I've got all those. Now you can leave those the way they are, but let me show you what I typically do so I don't accidentally move the slots. If I select all of these right here, and then I go to Pathfinder, which for me is down in the bottom right corner over here, and I click minus front, you don't see that anything happened. But if I drag this over here, you'll see that... Um, that the rectangles are all, are all part of this one shape. So you won't accidentally move them. And then I could do the same with these. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, shift click on these so I don't get that center, those center uh, pieces in there. And then now if I do minus front, it's all connected. All right. So that's how to edit the slots there. 
I just want to make a point real quick that these are the feet that go on the bottom of this one, so we're not going to mess with those. And then over here, I want to point out that these are four identical shapes. So here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to delete three of these, so I don't need them. And then I'm going to edit this one, and then uh, copy-paste three other ones out there. So here's what we need to do. We need to shorten this tab and this tab so that they don't stick up out of the top or the bottom of it uh, due to us using eighth inch instead of quarter. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw out, I'm going to go to uh, outline mode, uh, command Y, so that that way I'm not getting distracted by the thickness of the uh, stroke there. You see that? Command Y just goes to outline. And I'm going to draw out a rectangle that's right on top of this one. And I'll get it, I'll get it perfect here in just a second. Because I want to use the, the uh, length of it here. I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, that's pretty good. And then I'm going to go up here. I've got it selected. So I'm going to go up here to transform. And I'm going to change this width to my 0.12. So now that is the length that I need this tab to be, okay? So I'm going to line this guy up right with where I need it to be here, right there. And now, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up to the Direct Selection tool right here. Click that. And now I'm going to click the corner of this. I'm going to select that one node right there. And then I'm going to shift click this other one. So now I've got both of these selected. And now I can just drag this in. And if I hold shift, it'll keep it straight. And put it right on top of where that other one is. You see that? So now I know that my tab is the right length. And then I can go use this, this uh, rectangle again to go back over here. I'm going to line it right up there. Grab my direct, direct selection tool click here, shift click here, and start dragging in, and I'll push shift while I'm dragging in, and uh, that will be exactly the right length. Now I can delete that uh, rectangle, and we are almost done. Now we just simply grab this guy and copy paste, put it over here, and because I like doing this, I will select both of these, copy paste, and I've got all four back, and we're done. And this thing is ready to go for eighth inch material. That's all it takes. So you guys go out there and make these. They're, they're, they're so much fun. They're so easy to make because they just take one sheet of material and you're going to love them. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to see what you guys make. But until then, see you next time.